giant pearl. Um, Smash nice sculpture. Uh, over there in the distance is the Museum of Islamic Art, which I'm just going to now. And further in the distance is the carnage, with all of the boats and stuff around. Um, I love the architecture, it looks really, really nice, and the like, ships look really traditional. Um, but I'm heading to the Museum of Islamic Art, which is towards Banana Island, I think. Or well, maybe not, I think I can cross the front way. Uh, I've just come from that side there, which is so nice. The market is that side. It's a nice area around here with just people just chilling on the grass. Uh, finally, I've made it to the Museum of uh, Islamic Art. Um, I love the entrance, it's really nice. The carnage in the background. So the water beach is really cool. Uh, I think I might be able to walk up here, I don't know. Um, but we'll see. But it's really, really nice with the palm trees and just setting up the water, well, water beach. Yeah. Um, walking here, like I got asked to like catch like many ferries. Um, but I was like, no. Um, but it just seems really peaceful around here. The surrounding ocean. And the sound of the water it sounds like a bit of And then there's the city behind me. I'm just in the uh, Museum of Islamic Art in Doha right now. Um, walking in now, and the architecture looks really cool, just on the just on the onset. Wow, that's that's really amazing. Um, as you can see, a little bit. <laughs> um, it's got like a kind of like cone shape to it, uh, with triangles and stuff and patterns. And so it's going from Iran. There's like so many different types of art, which is really interesting from different parts of uh, different continents. Um, for example, Iran. Iran again.
recorded on computer salad and the uh, Opa, uh, Oppo uh, in Tata, uh, Coronavis Oppo. Uh, this sun is just set, so it's quite dark. Uh, I almost forgot to have my name, which is a little tiny person. Little tiny person. I just got to uh, Porto Arabia, um, part one, uh, at the Pearl just now. Um, it was quite swanky and cool. Uh, I got told there's like Ferrari garages and stuff nearby. Um, I've just come from uh, the St. Regis, which is on like another part. It cost me 30 Kitari Vita. I still can't say the currency right for some reason. Um, I actually got like the limousine, but I can't find uh, any other um, car from the area. So I'm just like walking around this area to see what it's like. Um, but I'm just on this side, I think. But it looks really, really nice. Definitely around here. I mean, I just wanted to see the architecture um, before I fly um, in four hours' time. Um, I'm looking forward to fly back actually, but it's been nice to see Qatar. And I'll try to film some more of this area. Um, I'll just flip the camera around so you can see where I've just come from, which is St. Vigus, which is a really, really nice hotel. Um, it had like Bentleys and stuff outside. I can't really see it in the distance, St. Vigus. So this area is kind of closed now, but there's just an area around the top. Um, I can't see anything special about it, to be honest. I'm um, just, I guess, upmarket brands. Oh, some places to work in. Okay, so I found it. So this is the car. Sorry about the quality of my video. I'm um, just show up the darkness too well. Um, looks kind of nice, but nothing too special. Has the boats going around. Um, no real big yachts or anything around the area. Okay, so uh, <laughs> I found all, all the yachts around here. Just loads of them. It's hard to see again because of the video. Um, but it's not a bad area, there's like loads of small restaurants and stuff and cafes. Um, this is nighttime on a ho holiday, um, Eve holiday here. So it's probably quieter than usual. Um, we've like the shops being closed, almost shops being closed. But there's loads of like places for like, coffee and tea and just to relax. And then of course these big yachts just being docked here. Uh, it looked really cool, actually. Um, but it just seems really laid back. And with all the buildings around. And like burger places opening, so quite, quite a few stores are actually open as well. Uh, there's like lots of luxury good stores, of course, because of the little rich people here, unlike myself. <laughs> um, and then just all the buildings nearby. Um, but it's still worth a visit uh, just to see you've been there. I'm gonna head over to the, the one in the distance, uh, I think it's a special area. Okay, so it's, it's taken a while to walk here. Um, I just wanted to get like a better view of the, um, the pearl itself. It's quite a large area. Um, I had to pull my suitcase around because I couldn't find anywhere to put it. 
Um, as you can see behind me, there's loads of small um, boats. Uh, in the corner, like over there, there's more yachts and stuff. Um, it's definitely worth a visit, but probably better to look at it in the day. Um, but now I have to make my way back to the airport. Uh, Hey up, so um, Doha was quite interesting, as you can see I'm sleepy because I haven't slept. Um, I'm now ready to make my final journey back to England. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and that it sort of helps you when you come here. Um, if you have any questions please leave me anything in the comment section um, and um, also like comment if you have any ideas of where to go because I had no idea. Um, so goodbye from me and I hope you enjoy my Japan videos if you're interested in Japan. Uh, right now behind me is the Bear, which is by a Swiss designer I think. Uh, I'll find out more when I get closer, but I'll show you a quick video of the inside of the airport on the way out. Um, bye for now. Okay, so inside the airport they have this um, Bear thing from a Swiss designer. And so I read, uh, and of course there's a few degree shops. And again, like more duty free and the cars where you can enter to win a Lamborghini or them. And there's Concourse A, B, and C. A and B. A, C. Pretty good. Um, but again, like, like I said, there's just loads of duty free stuff because this is an Arab country as well so this one is even more and there's another car in, in, the, uh, in the distance there and more places for duty free stuff.